Rome Total War's character system was the best that we ever had it. I loved it so much, and it's such an important part of what made Total War so great. Yet, this is something that has been greatly lacking in the newer titles, but that's for another video. Today, top 5 starting characters in Rome Total War. Let's begin. In 5th place is probably the character you are all the most familiar with. The Julii faction leader, Flavius Julius, starting off with a balanced amount of experience with command, management and influence. Overall, a good, all-round, balanced leader. A true Roman, if you will. By the way, throughout the rest of this video, these things here, I'm going to call them points. And Flavius has a total of 13, which is very high for the starting game. In addition to this, he has the trait Skilled Bureaucrat, which adds an additional to Law. Law helps with both public order and the lowering of corruption, which leads to more money. Now, fourth place, and this is where it gets a little bit interesting. The Scythian faction leader, Zipotes, has a total of 12 points, less than fifth place, but he also has the trait Very Lively, which increases movement range by 20% and construction cost in the governing settlement by 10%. Uh, it decreases by 10%. This I value more than Flavius's plus one extra point and bureaucratic trait, so I ranked him higher. Zipotes also has the highest level of command at the start of the game as well. Six points, which he only shares with one other. Command mostly adds morale to your troops which makes him very useful at the start of the game. Quick honourable mention, the faction heir of the Spanish is Caraunios. He also starts with 12 points and 6 command, but his trait is lively, not very lively, and this halves its effect. If he was just that little bit livelier, he would have made it onto this list as well. For third place, I had to go with Aristarchus of the Seleucid Empire, the faction heir. He has a total of 13 points, 8 in influence, 4 in management, but only 1 in command. He's not much of a fighter, but put him in any province and he will fix the public order instantly. Each influence is equal to plus 5% public order. He has 8, so that is plus 40 public order overall, wherever he is. Something that a largely spread out empire, like the Seleucids, could really do with. For second place, I went with Brennus, the faction leader for the Gauls. He starts with an insane 15 points. 5 command, 4 management, and 6 influence, which makes him great at really any task you set him to. Management is the only spot lacking, but to be honest, no one has it higher than 4 at the start, and it does not really matter much. Management, it adds a little bit of money, but it's really not that much compared to the other points a character can get. And now, for first place, the best starting character in Rome Total War. It is the British faction leader, Banny Vendors. Sounds like a mafia name. I don't know, I probably pronounced it wrong. Barry Vendors. Barry Vendos, whoever. Who also shares the 15 points total mark. 4 command, 4 management, and 7 influence. So, they both share 15 points overall. Why rank this guy higher? Well, it's because he is British, and I am British, and I am biased. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. The British leader has with him the retinue Druid. The Druid is like the surgeon trait and can lower casualties inflicted. For example, if you battle and have a squad of 100 troops and you ended the battle with 80, because some of course died, when you load out of the battle and back into the campaign, you may have 84 troops. Four recovered, and they didn't actually die, they were just wounded. But with this trait, that could push it up to 10 recovered. Not that useful really for general units, but for units that are in smaller, more powerful squads, this is really good, such as elephants, or in the British case, chariots. Also, he is two years younger, which is a plus, albeit a small one. I find it interesting how it's mostly the barbarians that start off the best. And there we go. If you enjoyed, please do feel free to subscribe, like, maybe even share this video with someone else. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll do another, but for Medieval 2 or Barbarian Invasion or something, let me know in the comments which you want to see. 500 likes. Anyway, before I go, make sure to check out tomorrow's video. Part 1 of my new United Roman Republic roleplay campaign, where we will be taking a real deep look into characters and their personalities as we play through the campaign and where you, the viewer, can vote for faction leaders and how the Republic will be governed. Anyway, hope to see you there, hope you enjoyed, but for now, goodbye.